Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is um, show you how to determine if a set of points is a function or not. Now remember, a function is a, a relation. And we can represent that function um, using a set of points. But basically, the main important thing is that um, our, x variable, x, our x coordinates, our input values, um, only correlate to one unique output, or y values. So basically, remember, when you're looking at coordinate points, you have an x and a y coordinate, right? Um, each x coordinate has to uniquely map to one y value. Now, you can have different x coordinates go to the same y value. You just can't have the same x value go to two different y values. So basically, what we want to do is look at every single x value and say, does every single x value go, to, um, go uniquely only to one value? Well, negative 2 only goes to 4, right? There's no other representation where negative 2 goes somewhere else. 5 goes to 6. Does 5 go anywhere else? No. Negative 7 goes to 8. That's the only representation, representation of negative 7 going anywhere. And 1 goes to 1. Okay. So no other way do we contradict this. So therefore, this is a function. Over here, again, we look at all of our x values. And all of our x values are unique. Okay. They're each, each and every one separate. Because remember, the x values, they can, they can go. Different x values can go to the same y value. You just can't have the same x value go to different y values. So we look at this, and you can see that, hey, 3 and 1, they both go to 1 half. But that's OK. They can go to the same y value. You just can't have, again, the input going to two different outputs. So my x values, that goes to uniquely to 1 half. 6 goes uniquely to 2. 1 goes uniquely to 1 half. And 1 fourth goes uniquely to 1 third. So it all works. Now let's go on and look at an example over here. And here, if we go ahead and look at our x coordinates, what you notice here is I have two, 7 is, shows up as the x coordinate twice. And the issue is 7 maps to 0 and 7 maps to negative 1. So now we have a case where our input, our x value, goes to two different y values. And that is exactly what does, cannot happen with a function. So this is an example of not a function. Okay. Um, again, in this case, we have x. I just like to label all my x's and just make sure my x's cannot go to different y's. Um, when you look at this here, I have 8, 3, negative 6, and 1 half. They all go to unique y values. There's no time that I have multiple values of my x going to different y's, or my input has to go uniquely to its own output. And so this will work. So this one is a function. Ta-da.